everyone so i haven't made these in a little while um i did the video about this time last year actually and these are tailed octobos and i've got the tutorial for the mini octobos with tails and that's um on my channel already and i've also got the layered version so it's basically this one but double layered and how to attach the layers together but this is the amazing satin ribbon from Hattie at Crafty Koala and you saw it in the unboxing video that I did this week so this is what it like and I just wanted to show you something because it's a bit different to standard satin and I just wanted to show you because these are made with the gold edge one inch ribbons in the green and the red and as you can see so I've got them this is the amazing pearl satin ribbon and as you can see I'll get a standard satin ribbon it's thicker it's like not as like soft with standard satin and again this one is from Crafty Koala as well it's a silver edge satin um, on standard satin I would layer that on top of a growth grain to be able to work and make create the bow with this pearl satin I don't actually need to do that because it stands quite firm by itself I would still recommend blasting it with hairspray once you've got everything sorted and you're happy with the set of everything to keep it shape but you don't need the extra layer of ribbon like you would with a typical satin ribbon. So, excuse me, because my loops have just adjusted. There we go. So this is the look we're going for, and it's in 1.5 inch ribbon, and we need two times 70 centimetres to start with, and I'll put the descriptions for the one inch versions as well. And like I said, you can make them in all colours, you can do them in two colours, you can do them in single colours, entirely up to you. So I've got my first piece and I've already got that all folded because the thing about octobos, you need to get all of your loops perfectly shaped and perfectly the correct the same size. If you have one that's slightly off, that's when it starts to throw the look of the bow. So as you can see, I've already got my folds in, but I'll show you how to do that through, through both. So the first thing we do is I take my ruler and I'm going to fold 10 centimetres in. Take my lighter, heat crease across there, and then we're going to pinch in the middle as well, so we get across here. Then we're going to take these, we're going to heat seal this edge here, and then we're going to fold that in half, and do a crease there. Fold it in half so you've got the 10 centimetre tail down here and then you've got this folded so it's in half of the 60 centimetres and then fold that in half so you get another cross here and then take this end bring that up to the centre and then use the crease where we've folded over the 10 centimetres and line those all up together and then fold them down so you've got these two pieces like this and you'll be left with four equal pieces and your tail so you'll have five pieces so like I said this is your tail one two three four and this is where you get all your loops nice nicely so from where you've got your cross here to where you've got your cross in the center here what I do is I fold that in half so I can see where exactly that is line that up with that cross there and then bring that over and you want to have it so you've got this loop shape here now we're going to temporarily pin this and I'll show you this is a step where a lot of people make the mistake when you're doing the loops so pay attention to this bit when we bring this side in where we've got the thing a, you want to be making a loop again because we're doing the figure eight method so it should be this shape now what a lot of people naturally want to do is take that all the way over and as you can see if we take that all the way over this loop's small this loop's big so we don't want to do that we want the loops to be the same size so what we want to do is we want to pin that against that half so both loop size light sizes are the same size okay so line it up with the tail, line it up with the loop and make sure it's halfway, not completely over. If you want to do it completely over, you'd have to add another like two centimetres or a centimetre and a half. Sorry, another two centimetres 
to this side because as you can see that crease is dead in the center of the because 1.5 inch ribbon is four centimeters wide so as you can see the line for the join is two centimeters across that square and that's why we want it so pin that in place like that and then you'll have this and this is the back of the bow and this is where the fr front cross shape is okay lift it up with your hands using the pin and then where your creases are here and here you want your crease this side again where we're making this triangle here that crease should be lining up directly with that corner and i take a clip and i clip that there and we're going to do exactly the same this side we're going to line that up so that the lines are directly over each other and that this side again is perfectly in alignment with that corner there and then you take you clip and you clip that over and that's what the back of the bow will look like and as you can see you've already got your twisted boutique look of your front shape with the cross over the front so that's one and we're going to repeat the same steps exactly the same as we've just done so 10 centimeter tail with the cross mark the center of our bow again we know it's a center because that's one with the cross this is a tail with the cross Fold that in half so we know where the joins join up. Pin it a second so we know it's in the right place. And there's loop one. And we take this one, we loop that over, and make sure it lines up with the tail. There we go. And we pin it so it's halfway across and not completely over. So again, figure eight, back and front. Lift it up in your hands again, bring it over, and again, line that crease up with that triangle shape here and Take a clip and clip. There we go. Take this side again, use that crease, bring it in, work out where the corner is that side, make sure the creases are right across each other, and clip again this side. And then we've got two boutique style bows. And as you can see, they're exactly the same size, exactly the same shape. And what you want to do to get your tails the right way up is you literally take this one. So obviously both the same way. You just turn that upside down. And then when you stitch in, we just go straight across. So I've got my double, double strength, uh, sorry, extra strong Guterman thread, which is polyester. And I've got it doubled. Okay. And we're going to do six stitches across each one because again we need to have three creases on both because it's all about balance the octo bow is the main thing about them no matter what style you're doing the, the more balanced each side is the better the results will be so we're going to take this from above right on that first triangle through there one two at this point you can take the pin out from before and this clip above Try and keep your stitches even. One, two, three, four, five, and your sixth one. You want to be coming up through that triangle corner, that side. And when we push this together, one, two, three, even creases. And they're all the same depth as well. And again, that is something to think about when you're making these, because like I said, the more even the the depth of the creases, the better the balance of the bow. And again, take this side, move that clip one out of the way. From above where the triangles join, first stitch in, and then we're doing six. One, two, take the clip off, take the pin out of the way. Four, five, six up through there 
and again when you pull this together three even creases okay so pull your thread across and the other key thing about these when we're bringing them together pull them apart a bit so you've got them like this and what we want to do is we want to make sure that this corner and this corner are butted right against each other and the loops are like this okay and then hold your finger across like this because again this is where people struggle to get these to line up because you want your creases lined all together so can you see that's bringing all of those centers together all in a straight line and that's what you want that that's what will give you the nice sit of an octobo so once you've got your creases together wrap your thread round a good couple of times nice and tight and i'll show you the back in a minute because this is the other reason why we call them octobos because they do look very octopus like shape especially at the back as you can see so wrap it round you want to go really really tight with these because like i said the tighter you get the center the more octobo shape it looks as well so wrap that nice and tight and then stitch off in the back however you personally prefer and i love this ribbon it reminds me of christmas so much like i said this is the gold version she's also got the silver version but i can't find it at the moment i put it in my box when i was organizing and i've misplaced it in my cat like way so as you can see this is the back of the bow and like i said that's very octopus like and this is what the front of the bow looks like and what you can do is you can get your fingers in the loops like this and get them to sit exactly how you look once you're happy with the sit of everything again any extra strength max hold hairspray you can literally like i said do it in a ventilated area that's why i do it when i do them in the video you literally spray until it is damp not completely damp just slightly damp turn it over do exactly the same thing normally takes about two to three minutes to dry down once it's dry down that will be set so like i said once you've got everything how you want it that's what you would do for this one i'm going to add the clip and then i'll show you so i've just got my clip here okay just a little bit on the middle middle turn that over and put it over because you don't want too much glue on the back because you don't want the loops to glue against the clip because otherwise that again it affects the balance of the center and i've got this stunning matching nine millimeter satin pearl satin gross grain so there we go just heat sealed that and again as you can see it's thicker than standard satin so it doesn't burn as quick because like i said satin can burn a little faster than standard gross grain as well so put that around the center move a tail out of the way and we're going to wrap this round twice nice and tight one opening clip round again make sure you're going over the original layer all nice and tight and squared off put that extra off make sure you're not heat seeing in any of the rest of the ribbon And glue on there open our clip again and clip that down and then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to curve my tails because I like a nice curve shape and also curves are one of the easiest tail shapes to achieve without like messing things up just be careful not to cut into that loop there and heat seal in the blue clear bit of the fillet flame and then we're gonna do the same on this side And also this colour is absolutely perfect. It is the perfect goal for gingerbread, reindeer and things like that. If not, it's just a really stunning colour all by itself. So like I said, it's really, really pretty. And there you go. There's how to make your tailed octobos in the pearl satin gross cream. 
like I said, you can do it in normal grow screen. I've got the one invert virgins. I did a elf one. It actually has like a little jingle bell to it. And then I did the two tone ones with the tartan hearts as well. I think the hearts might be a bit bigger for me, but like I said, I was playing around and thought I'd have some fun with them. So thanks for watching and hopefully you've, you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.